Assalamu alaikum my dear brothers and sisters over the past week the internet has been a buzz with one topic that has captured the collective attention and raised numerous questions the tragic case of Muhammad bin Mursal many of you may be wondering why was Muhammad bin Mursal executed in Saudi Arabia who was Muhammad bin Mursal was he innocent or murderer these questions are flooding our hearts and minds In the age of social media, information spreads like wildfire and sometimes the lines between truth and falsehood become blurred. It's disheartening to see that amid these genuine concerns, some are exploiting this situation with fake stories and misleading content, all for the sake of views and clicks. Numerous videos are going viral claiming to show Muhammad bin Mursal's last meeting with his mother, his alleged death video or even moments with his family. But here's the truth. The videos circulating on social media are outdated and have been mislabeled as Muhammad bin Mursal. The images and videos you are seeing are not of the actual Muhammad bin Mursal. Let me shed some light on the real Muhammad bin Mursal. He was a young man residing in Najran, a city in southern Saudi Arabia. He worked as a driver for the Al Mutairi family, a prominent and affluent family in the region. Muhammad had a cousin named Muid, who also worked for the Al Mutairis as a gardener. Their relationship was strained, often marred by disputes over money and other matters. One fateful day, a heated argument between Muhammad and Muid escalated into a physical altercation. It culminated in a tragic incident where Muhammad, in the heat of the moment, Fatally stabbed Moid multiple times. The consequences were dire. Moid lost his life, and Muhammad bin Mursal, realizing the gravity of his actions, fled the scene. The Al Mutairi family, devastated by the loss of their son and employee, demanded justice. The authorities launched a relentless pursuit, eventually apprehending Muhammad. He confessed to the crime and faced trial. In accordance with Sharia law, he was sentenced to the death penalty by beheading. Despite his pleas for clemency, Muhammad's appeal was denied, leading to his execution on September 20, 2023. But here's where it gets even more heartbreaking. The victim's family, in a desperate plea for mercy, had initially tried to secure forgiveness and pardon for Muhammad bin Mursal. They released a video in which they took off their clothes and scarves, placing them on the ground, repeating phrases in which they begged for forgiveness for their son and offered to accept blood money. The emotional appeal tugged at the heartstrings of many, but unfortunately, all the efforts were in vain. The tragedy of Muhammad bin Mursal stirred profound emotions and triggered intense debates on social media. It's a story that has touched hearts across the globe, provoking discussions on the death penalty's fairness and morality. Additionally, it has cast a light on the complex web of tribal and regional tensions in Saudi Arabia, with Muhammad belonging to the Al Rizq tribe and Muid to the Al Yami tribe. In the story of murder and revenge of justice and bloodshed of family and tribal loyalty and ultimately of life and death we find ourselves questioning our own beliefs and values the case of mohammed bin mursal is not just a news story it's a profound reflection of the complexities and challenges we face in our ever evolving world my dear viewers i invite you to share your thoughts and opinions on this emotionally charged case let's engage in a respectful and empathetic dialogue Please like, comment and share this video to create awareness and foster understanding about the integrate issues surrounding this case. May Allah guide us towards wisdom, compassion and justice in all matters.